one of the most amazing cop shows to come on this year on Fox. A P B. Holy mother! Right off the bat, when I saw the previews for it and stuff, I wanted to watch it. Okay, watch the first episode, and I was hooked. I was literally hooked. It's a mix of Minority Report meets RoboCop, and it was fan freaking tastic. I will tell you all about it because this episode is all about that, and it starts right now. to an all new episode of TV Review brought to you by Once Upon a Time, Aaron Sundays on ABC. Holy mother of God! Amazing series. I've been watching that show since the very beginning and I plan to do a full review on it after this season is over with. So, we'll have it on our next TV Review show once the season is over with. Either way, this episode is all about the amazing new show that started on Fox this year known as APB. It's a mixture of RoboCop meets Minority Report, and it was fan freaking tastic Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I am your host, as always, Joseph Michaels, The Adventurous Joe. Sorry about that. I got a little wrapped up on things here. Either way, let's get started. APB, amazing cop show. I mean, it's futuristic in so many ways. The guy, Gideon Reeves, he acts like Tony Stark meets Bruce Wayne. Okay, an eccentric billionaire who's got the mind of a mother freaking genius. And mm, he's an engineer. When his best friend gets killed in, during a liquor store robbery and stuff, okay, mm, he goes on a major task. He literally goes to the, the city of Chicago and says, I want control of the of the priest of Precinct 13. I want control of this place and I want to run it. Okay? I'm going to change this place. And they were all like laughing at him and shit and thinking, oh, oh, oh big joke, you know. <laughs> no, he was freaking serious. Because the first day there and stuff like that, he got to talking to all the cops and stuff, showed him the new equipment they were going to be using and stuff. A gun that freaking switches like Judge Dredd's lawn, lawgiver. Oh my god! Love that damn gun. Either way, this gun has a taser setting and a freaking lethal setting. And it was just like, shit! Awesome hell. Not to mention the body armor they had and, and stuff. It, it was so fantastic. The show brings out so much incredibly great stuff to it not to mention the fast cars that were just like something not a robocop and stuff the new robocop not the old one with you know peter weller and stuff like that this was fantastically well done the way the season ended however not the most fantastic season ending for its first run okay for the first season's ending okay it freaking was terrible okay the main bad guy was a hacker who knew Gideon's own little hacker and stuff like that okay and he was helping on destroying Gideon doing everything he could he even hacked into his own damn devices and shit that the cops were using and started turning them against them and shit and Gideon could not understand why is this little son of a bitch doing all this shit well, it's because he's one of those fascist morons that believe Gideon's turning Chicago into his own police state. What? Seriously? <laughs> this guy needs to get out more. Either way, the show ends on a big cliffhanger. His Gideon's friend and hacker girl, okay, she gets arrested by the FBI because of that other fucking hacker guy. Okay, mm. And Gideon has to do everything on his own without her and stuff. So Gideon and Murphy try to save the mayor from getting killed. And the mayor gets shot right through the fucking heart. Which, he deserved it. He was a total fucking asshole. He deserved every moment of it. He would not listen when they tried to call and warn him. He was so hell-bent on destroying Gideon and his little project and stuff. With, the pre with Precinct 13 and everything. He didn't give a shit about the cops. 
he only gave a shit about the fact that he would he wanted Gideon out of his way so he could get things back the way he had them and shit. Well, asshole got what he was what was coming to him. He got shot dead by a sniper rifle that was automated, and Gideon stopped the sniper rifle, but it was too late to save the mayor. And now the season has been left on a major cliffhanger because nobody knows what's going to happen next. Okay. Fox has yet to announce when season two is going to come around and stuff, or if APB even got renewed for another season. Either way, I loved the show. It was fantastic. We're giving it a solid 10 out of 10 as our final judgment. Holy mother of God. Season one was fantastic. You can catch it now on Hulu. On demand, if you got on demand and stuff like that. Um, not sure if Netflix has it yet. Fox On Demand has all the episodes and stuff like that. Or uh, Fox.com, excuse me. Where you can download all the episodes uh, and watch them on there. The whole playlist. You can even get them on Amazon Prime. It's fan-freaking-tastic. Check out APB. It airs, once it's back on the air again, it airs usually around 9 o'clock on Monday nights. It's fan-freaking-tastic. The show was great. The casting was great. I love the, the chemistry between Gideon and Murphy. I mean, she, she's a cop that, you know, sympathized with him when his friend was killed and stuff. So that's why he took a closer shine to her and stuff. He also likes her, loves her little boy and stuff like that. And it's a fantastic chemistry they got going on between those two. Sure, she gets a little pissed off at him and stuff, but he tries to get her to understand, you know, he's an engineer, not a cop. She's the cop, okay? Teach him what she wants him to learn and stuff, okay? And so on and so forth. The chemistry is fantastic between them. Either way, the show is also getting two freaking thumbs up. If I could go borderline 11 on this shit instead of just 10 out of 10, I would totally do it. Either way, it is fantastic. We're highly recommending you check it out. APB, Final Judgment for APB is a 10 out of 10. Season 1 was fantastic. I hope they bring it back for another season. I look forward to more out of this series. And I can't wait to hear the rest. Okay, and that's it for this episode of TV Review. Have you seen APB yet? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite thing about it? Did you like any of the gear that Gideon created and stuff? Let's discuss it down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're new, leave your comments, and make sure to hit the little bell icon in the subscriber button so you get notified first when our newest episode of TV Review, any of our review shows, any of our Cosplayer of the Week episodes, or anything else, including the newest episode of the Adventurous Joe Show itself, airs. You'll be the first ones to see it once it hits YouTube. And that's it. We'll see you all next time. Till then, peace out. May the force be with all of you. Happy TV viewing to all. And check out APB. Later.